Hey guys, it is Tanya Gibson Smith. Welcome and welcome back. If you are new here, go ahead and mm -mm. no, 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 no. Get out! Get out! Get out! Where you at? Get out! It is Tanya Gibson Smith. Welcome and welcome back. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and share this video, like this video, and comment down below. Talk to me. I appreciate you guys who have been really engaging on the channel. It helps the channel grow. Um, I've got a few things coming up for you all, and yeah, I'm excited to share. Um, but nevertheless, I came today for uh one reason my husband and i uh had a load going to georgia and i wanted to talk to you all about the uh states that is i guess the hardest to drive in versus the ones that are just easy peasy so number one right i think that the midwest is the easiest Midwest, I love the Midwest. Um, for those of you who know or may be new to my channel, then uh, you may not know that I trained in Iowa. I trained in Iowa at Hirschbach. And during that time, it was very, very cold, very, very icy and snowing almost every other day. But the truth be told, I loved Iowa, okay? I love Iowa still do to this day um i love missouri where we are now with cfi i love the midwest um i can call out a couple of other states idaho indiana you know that whole little area illinois but i really wanted to talk about coming through some tight spots okay so the other week my husband and I were coming through Philadelphia, where we had a load in Philadelphia. And we were coming through uh, Philadelphia and guys, you know, people talk about New York City all the time. And I know that New York is tight, okay? Brooklyn used to be my little uh, junior high stumpy ground. So I know that New York is tight. But my husband drives New York as if is nothing, it's second nature to him in the 18 wheeler. Okay, I personally have not driven New York, but I've been on the passenger side with him when he drove with another company. We came through New York and it was tight. It was jam packed, it was tight. Um, but at the time, you know, I was not really looking at driving, so uh, coming through there, the only thing I could think about is when I was in the seventh grade, I caught the plane in LaGuardia and, you know, I went to my aunt's house and hanging out during the summer. These are the things that I was thinking about when I was coming through New York. <laughs> so, um, but I do remember it being tight. But listen, Philadelphia, we came through Philadelphia the other day and I was in the back. So, but I heard him saying, like, this don't make no sense. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. You know, so immediately, okay, I get up and I come through the curtain like, <laughs> like, like Wonder Woman. <laughs> I came through the curtain like, what's going on? What's wrong? And when I saw it, I immediately was like, whoa. So, y'all. There was cars on the right, there was cars on the left, and then there was a one lane street. 
Now, any of you who already know anything at all about trucking, then you know it takes two lanes for us to make a decent turn. It takes two lanes almost for us to do anything except drive straight. But yeah, we had to turn on this one lane street with, like I said, cars on the right, cars on the left, and ooh we Jesus. We did He did an amazing job, okay, with the help of Jesus, because, like I said before, that's the only way. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It was extremely tight. And my husband, he was just fussing the whole time. This GPS shouldn't be bringing us through here, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I laugh at him because I tell him he fuss at the GPS all the time. But he got the job done. And... um Today, we was coming through Atlanta, and oh my goodness, I was driving. Four-lane highways, okay? It was really, really tight, but I was able to get the, get the job done. I kept my eyes on the road, and uh, I used everything that I had in me to be able to... Um, <laughs> coming through Atlanta, four-lane highways... Um, construction from start to finish it was tight that was tight nowhere near tight as Philadelphia I'm sure it was nowhere near tight as New York because the thing is with Atlanta and the reason why I call it tight is because the traffic was like crazy cars zooming even trucks was driving crazy so you know, you four-wheelers, this is for you. <laughs> when you see one of us come through there with these 18 wheels, give us time to change lanes and do what we need to do, especially in a big city, because um, it is extremely important to give us that few minutes to uh, maneuver. But, you know, although it was tight, um, like I said, it was my first time coming through Atlanta on the driver's side. And um, I feel like it went pretty well, but at the end of the day, you know, um, I just still wanted to say to um, anybody who may be watching, just be careful coming through these tight spots in these construction areas. Just be careful. Um, me and my husband was coming out of, um, what was we coming from, Doug? Joplin? When them trucks was turned over? What was the storm at? No, the storm when the trucks was turned over. Oh, no, no. Trucks was turned over on the side of the road. And that was because of a storm. And um, I'm going to link that here. Yeah, we prayed for the driver and, and um, prayed that everybody was okay. But, um, yeah, just be careful, you know, just be careful um, to the four-wheelers, the 18-wheelers, even the two-wheelers. Be careful, okay? Um, construction sites, weather, uh, severe weather storms, you know, uh, we're out here in it all. So, y'all got blessed. Pray for us, we'll pray for you.